you know, smoking's bad for your health. Well, you have a pack. <laughs> well, I didn't say they weren't bad for me, too. Well, Merry Christmas. Hey! What's your name? Thomas. What's yours? Clarissa. So, do you go to school around here? I'm a senior at H.B. Woodlawn High. You? I'm a sophomore at Wakefield. A lot of people think I'm a senior, though. Hey! You're the Clarissa from H.B. who's painting won that award. Well, what are you working on now? To draw a self-portrait in a place that you think fits you, but nowhere here does. How about draw some place that'll fit you one day? Yeah, I think that might work. Thanks for clearing my writer's... Oh, my artist's block. <laughs> Anytime. You know, I like to write music. And sometimes I just wish I could get what's in my head down on the paper. Would you want to get some hot chocolate with me? Just because it's like 10 degrees out here. The 7-Eleven's still open. Plus, I hear they have this great gum that'll totally get you off the nicotine. What's up? What's going on? I got in. Full scholarship to UCLA Art School! Oh my god! I'm so full! Get 20 bucks a week for allowance, man. Shit, no. Jesus, you scared me. How about that greeting, huh, John? <laughs> I've missed you so much. Uh, how are you doing, John? Well, I was pissed because one of my best friends went to college in fucking California. But I guess everyone changes. <laughs> Yeah, now she doesn't even wear clothes. Well, and give me a minute. To bring hope and freedom to the Iraqi people. Their work continues. So Morning, Mom. Afternoon, Clarissa. Hello, just the same. Mmm. You must have enjoyed being up in the attic again. Yeah, it was awesome. Oh, if only I weren't so tied to the courts here. I'd buy a house for us in L.A. Oh. You know, I can't stop worrying about you out there all alone. Oh, here, sweetie. Let me fix this. Oh, Mom! Here, I got it. There we go. Oh, my goodness. 
Your eyebrows need some tweezing. Uh, I'll call later and see if I can get Betty to give you a facial. Oh, I ran into the Millers yesterday, and I told them that your art is practically accepted in the L.A. program. Well, they're so eager to see it that I invited them over for a dinner party tomorrow night. <laughs> oh, shoot. I left my portfolio in my dorm room. You what? Yeah. Next time, I guess. Oh, honey. Does she have any dashboard? And five years later. Hey, watch where you're pointing that thing. <laughs> so how's the music going, John? It, well, he almost won first place at this competition last month, but Thomas beat him. Speaking of, did you ever get that CD back from him, John? No. So how's he doing? Huh? Thomas, oh, he's, uh, he's good, good. He's just fine. Um, have you heard this? Yeah. So, um, do you think you're going to see him? I can't. I just, I can't. Oh. Who wants some California, bud? You guys, when you come to California, we'll eat a bunch of pizza. <laughs> I'm gonna take you guys to the beach. Because we we'll like a lot. Like the waves and sand. That's it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get some pizza. You have cash, right? Be stingy <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Margaret, you're gonna love California. I mean, you can get like burritos at like three o'clock in the morning. And the other day, it was this guy, like... Wait, what about Thomas? Thomas is... broken. I mean, we're broken up. I mean... <laughs> where, where'd John go? <laughs> what toppings do you guys want? Extra cheese. Fuck yeah. Clarissa. 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 Hey. Hi. Different. <laughs> yeah, I am um, trying to change it into a workspace. <laughs> nice to see that some things stayed the same. I wish I would have had a chance to finish it, you know? How's the painting going? Uh, well, I, um, uh, I take this really great internship in L.A. I just have to show them my new work, you know? You're smoking again? You are too. 
You know, I have this gum. <laughs> it's fine. I should really get going. Are you sure? Because it's... Thomas, I said it's fine. <laughs> what? My camera. You know, I looked everywhere but down here for that. just trying to help. Don't. I don't need your help. I don't need anyone. You know, you know what, here. Take it. I'm leaving. Shouldn't I? Because you didn't do anything wrong. What if it was you that I cheated on? Well, you never wanted to cheat on me, did you? Sorry you had to pick me up. Yeah, sure. What's that? I'm gonna have a cigarette. I need to finish. Can you take me home? Sure. How do we get to this? I'm gonna go.
Thank you. Thomas, wait! Just go. Do that apprentice thing and go. What if I told you they have a branch out here? I'd ask you to stay. Baking on a Saturday night? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, I am. Do you have a Halloween costume? Oh, I always have a Halloween costume. <laughs> Good. Drink this, grab it, and come with me. Mm. Follow a stranger with a mysterious substance to his car? Stranger? Oh, it hurts. Come on, Clarissa, seriously, it's going to be an awesome party. My friend Kelsey's throwing it. I dare you. Just turn off your phone and live a little. This is it, right here? Oh, sorry. Yo, oh, dude, up, how's it going, man? I'm good, how are you? Good, good, good. So who's this? It's Kelsey's, it's Kelsey's house, uh, my friend Kelsey. Oh, Charlie Edmund! Kelsey, oh, 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 oh man. <laughs> this is my friend Clarissa. Hi, nice to meet you. Charles, why didn't you call me? Uh, Brittany. Hey, yeah, I, I... Lindsay. I, it's, it's Lindsay. You know what? Forget it. <laughs> oh, my God! Fine. Fine. These jeans are designer. <laughs> you know, ever since college started, uh, Uncle Charles can talk about it. You, he said you'd pay. Oh, no, thanks. I'm good. Oh, yeah, for sure. I just don't understand, Tom. I mean, what am I supposed to do? No, I can't just choose between you and a party. Yeah, I'm sure that this would make a great song. Clarissa? Look, um, I gotta go. Yeah, it is. What's that supposed to mean? Look, I gotta go. I don't know. I don't know. Bye. Still attached to your phone, huh? Yeah, I... Sorry, it's just... complicated. I broke up. Two days ago. No way. But you guys were in love and shit. Yeah. Me too. So, I'm over it. <sighs> Shit, we're that easy. You still have feelings for him? Because that could make things kind of hard. How so? Because I, uh, kind of liked you. I know that you got a relationship right now with everybody. I'm, I'm right here, and I've never felt this way about anyone before. I like you too. Yeah? Me too.
Mare Rider back in action. Close up on the sexiest artist in history. <sighs> it's this way. Show me. Okay. Show me how it works. Well, you know how it works. <laughs> What are we gonna do about this guy? I don't know, I mean, it's not just something I can lay out over the phone. I don't wanna hurt him. I'll just, I'll tell him when I change my ticket. Well, isn't the sooner the better? I mean, we can't have him calling five times a day. You're right. I'll tell him later tonight. After the party? Sure. After the party. I like this scarf. No, that's why you bought it for me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you always look cute in this one. Uh -huh. oh. What's going on? It's my house. Hello? Oh, hold on, hold on. What? Oh my god. When did... No. Okay, okay, I'll call her immediately. Mom, I'm out, I'm out with Thomas. I didn't ask you to cover for me. Okay, okay, I'll come home and take care of it, all right? Bye. Charles is really sick. With what? His stomach. <sighs> he had to be rushed to the hospital. Well, I'm sure he'll be fine. He said that it was serious. Check it out, guys. I've officially entered the world of cool. <coughs> What's going on? Charles is sick. <laughs> Great timing. I know. But you're ending it anyway. Don't you get it? Charles is lying there in a hospital bed. I've told him that I love him, yet I'm here frolicking around with my ex-boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend? I thought you said you were gonna stay. He's so fucked up. What? Just... Just sleep it off tonight and... We'll see how you feel in the morning. There you guys are. I've been looking for you guys every week. <laughs> You're not gonna stay, are you? How could I? Just one more. But your apprenticeship. Oh, fuck that. If it wasn't for my art, none of this would be happening. So, the holiday season's almost over. Now you can leave your high school fuck buddy and go back to your millionaire in California. Lucky you. Thomas, you don't know what you're saying. Thomas! How was the party? Great. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. I, on the other hand, spent the past few hours on the phone with Charles' mother. Mom. Mom. I really don't mean this right now. Excuse me, I forgot about Clarissa time. Everything she wants and when she wants it. I shouldn't be upset that I have to go to work in a few hours and that I just spent $400 of my money on your plane ticket. Clarissa, you have to start realizing you can't make decisions without regarding other people. Don't you remember what it was like when I found out your father cheated on me? How do you think Charles is going to feel? The poor guy tried to kill himself, and he just thought you were breaking up. He didn't even know. Mom, you said that. Oh. You know what? You went to California to be a painter. 
Maybe I shouldn't have let you go. Everybody kept saying how good you were, and then you keep bringing home all these awards. What did you bring home this time? Nothing! Do us all a favor and make the right choice for once. Did you pack the gifts? Ah, oh, shit. Charles, I asked you to do that yesterday. You <laughs> sure? You can never tell when you're lying. Are you sure we have to go? <sighs> Come on. Been gone for four years. What's another? Hmm. If my mom doesn't meet you, she'd for sure not help pay for the wedding. All right. All right. Any different? It's exactly how I left it. No. <laughs> Got those suitcases, Charles? Sure do, Miss Ryder. Oh, I told you in the car, it's Veronica. Oh, it's polite. He doesn't smoke. Got you a steady job, huh? If only it were for the government. Uh, Clarissa, I know you said nothing big, but I invited a few families over for Christmas. Mom, Clarissa. With the inauguration coming up. You know I'm going to be very busy. This way we can all spend some time together. Surprise! Oh, hey. Yes. Oh. Holy shit, Clarissa. Oh. oh, oh, I have to run these things upstairs real quick. I'll be right back down. Okay. Sure, leave us. <laughs> That's exactly the same. Oh Hi, you must be John and Margaret. I heard so much about you. Good things out. <laughs> um, can I get anyone anything to drink? Yeah, I'll take something. Okay, um, Charles, Margaret, make yourselves at home. So, how do you like DC? Huh? Oh, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. 
Have you ever been here before? Yeah, a couple times. My family took me here a while back. Went to all those boring museums and shit. Huh. So you transferred? Yeah, uh, last semester. Oh. I told him he didn't have to, but he insisted on it. You guys been together, what, two years now? Oh, really have been gone a while. Well, babe, it's about that time. You still smoke? For life, foo. Back in a flash. I gotta make a phone call. So, guess who else is graduating this year? Who? Thomas. Well, evidently, he's graduating like a year early. He's... You haven't even been here 10 minutes and you're already bringing up Thomas. Could you just do me a favor and just not talk about it? I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. That's that so crazy. Ah, ah, I know. I'm making tacos for dinner. Thought you hated Mexican. Actually, there's this really great taqueria just down from where we live. It's got $2 burritos and it's open 24 hours a day. Hmm. You must not live in a very nice part of town then. Oh, come in, Charles. I want to hear all about California. All I hear now is how they're trying to legalize marijuana. You cannot believe how many people actually want it to go through. You know, I hope you two don't know anyone who does that. Excuse me for a second. Yeah, I know. She's... How do you put up with that shit? I honestly don't know. <laughs> All right, that's mine. It's not meant to be drunk like that. Jeez, Clarissa, ever since we got here, you've been so picky. We can't do this, we gotta go to a museum, we can't have sex in your mom's bed. <laughs> I didn't know you live by an airport. Yeah, they patrol the skies protecting the city. This town is crazy. Don't get me started. What's that smell? Shit! <laughs> oh, God fucking damn it! <sighs> Is there anything else to eat? No, I was gonna get groceries tomorrow. Whatever. Order Chinese. Well, I know that, Charles. Nice beer. Is there anything else that you want? The vice president. Um, can, can I call you back? No! Ah! Excuse me, miss. You all right? Larissa? Hi. Is my phone broken? Uh, yeah. It is. What are you doing here? You know, I'm just uh, inspecting the parking lot. Nice, nice and solid. Well, it's nice seeing you. Yeah, you too. Oh. Here, do you need help? No, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. Here, let me help. It's nothing I haven't done before. Here. Use this. Thanks. No problem. So, 
uh, how's school going? It's good, yeah. Um, I'm graduating a year early. That's awesome. Yeah, and uh, for my senior thesis, I'm composing a full-scale opera. Auditions start next week. Wow. See, I knew you could do it. So what about you? How's, how's the painting? I, don't know, I just haven't wanted to lately. That's too bad. Have you uh, narrowed the five surfer boyfriends down to one yet? <laughs> yeah, um, I'm engaged. Yeah, right. To who? Vinny Chase? <laughs> to Charles. I'm engaged to Charles. That's not funny. I'm not joking. That would be my cue to leave. Your water's done. Hey, you, me, John, and Margaret, we should have dinner. You know, it'd be just like old times. I don't know. Why don't I run it by uh, Charles, and I'll get back to you. Yeah, see what he says. What happened? Shopping got a little intense, huh? Yeah, you know me. How'd you mess up your ankle anyway? Oh. Well, I uh, ran into Thomas. Thomas? Yeah, I was I was trying to avoid him, but um, my heel got caught, and please don't be mad. I'm not. Really? Yeah. My fiance. I. Ow! I'm really glad you understand. Would you uh, do a favor for me? Could you go out in my car and get some of the things I left there? Oh. Would it be okay if I saw him again? I mean, it, just because he said something about having dinner later with uh, Margaret and John. But I told him that I'd have to ask you first. Dinner? Sure, fine. I wanted to go to Delaware anyway, visit a friend, maybe pick up some presents or whatever. Okay. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Keys? going on? I gotta go. I burned dinner. Do you know how to turn that thing off? <laughs> yeah. Thank God. And I thought you would have learned to cook by now. Well, now all we have to eat is bread and Margaret and John aren't coming. They're not? She's sick. How convenient. Peeling back the layers of the part I've been playing for you. 
Thank you for making this. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't about to order Chinese or something. So, I was thinking, there's this new exhibit at the American History. It's really good. I thought, if you saw it, you know, maybe something would come to you. Thanks. Mom, I didn't expect you home until later. Where's your fiance? Oh, um, he's visiting friends. Uh, Margaret and John were supposed to be here, but she got sick. Oh, it's too bad. I hope it's nothing serious. Did you cook that? <laughs> sort of. Uh, later, I'm going to finish putting up the ornaments. Thomas can tell me all about JMU. <laughs> oh, actually, uh, John and Margaret go to JMU. I got into Juilliard. Oh, I knew this would happen if I left early in the office. Excuse me. It's good to see you, Thomas. Uh, you too, Veronica. Could you uh, pass the butter, please? Mm, rather, quite. Mm, oh. well, thank you, my kind lady. Clarissa, why are you marrying Charles? Marrying him? Uh, because he proposed to me and he loves me. And... and you're too young to get married. No, you're too young to get married. I am the perfect age. I'm only a year younger than you. You said when we were dating you wanted to wait till you were like 29 so you could figure out who you were before. Okay, Tom, I get it. You don't think that I should marry him. Great. Can we change the subject now, please? Sure. Let's talk about how you don't think you should marry Charles. I love Charles. And all the fancy shit he buys you, and the security that comes with it, and fucking watching him hang Tim with all of his totally radical friends down at Laguna Beach. <laughs> well, I'm so glad that you figured out who I am, because that saves me seven years. If you marry him, it'll be the biggest mistake you ever make. Why are you telling me all of this now? I waited four years for you to come home. But you're too good for us, California girl. You can just fly away and fuck everyone that cares about you, because you're not coming back. You told me to go out there for my art! And what did you do when you got a great opportunity? Did you gain some prestige? No, you got a husband. Ever since you've been back, I can't let you do this to me again. I can't let you just waltz into my life and just fuck everything up all over again. I only- Just go. Just please, just go. I'm sorry I'm late. It's okay. Um, do you want anything? Coffee's good. Here. I thought you don't paint anymore. I don't. I'm not gonna do it. What? Why? Charles, he told me that that Christmas when he got really sick, that it was because he took a bottle of pills. Last night, Thomas, after dinner, got me thinking about a lot of things. Just look at the big picture for a second. Do you remember career day? Yeah, you were the seventh grader that fainted on stage. <laughs> You're missing the point. Which is? The only reason I went up and talked to you afterwards 
is because everyone else got up there and told some fucking long story about how they wanted to be an astronaut or the president or a rock star. But you, you got up there and said, my name is Clarissa Ryder and I'm going to art school and then I'm going to paint for the rest of my life. Um, Chris, just come over around eight and we'll finish this with Margaret. And I swear, if you spend this Christmas being indecisive about Charles, I won't be involved. Going out? Um, yeah, I'm going over to Margaret's in about an hour for a drink with her and John. Can't they just come over here? Um, well, she felt really bad about getting sick last night. She got sick last night? Yeah, didn't they tell you? No, you didn't. Oh. It's just you and Thomas? Yeah, but, um, we got in a fight and I threw him out. I doubt if I'll ever see him again. Really? Now, let me get dressed. Oh, well, I was just gonna go. Sure. Wanna leave in 15 minutes? Oh, I'm not supposed to be there until eight. No harm in being early. I like I'm not even home. See you guys. Oh, fuck me hard. John? Babe? I need a cigarette. Thomas, it was really great seeing ya. Uh, Carissa, Charles, would you like a drink? I'll stay for one. So John, I saw this great French film yesterday. Really? Yeah, it was so good. What was it about? Well, there's this guy who falls in love with this girl, and then she moves away to college to pursue her dream. And he's all right with that, because you know, he wants her to be happy. But then she just gets brainwashed by this total jerk. <laughs> I'm talking this absolute asshole. He lives off of his parents' money, and he's never worked a day in his life. And get this. He even takes an entire bottle of pills just to make sure she'll stay with him. Trying to say something? I was just recommending a movie to a friend. Sounds like a shitty movie. So how does it end? Well, the guy reunites with the girl, but she's still with the asshole. So he says to her, this line's great. Il est plus mauvais qu'un chien. Je ne comprends pas pourquoi tu le spouse. You should take this outside. Uh, Charles, you don't even speak French. Should I get my dueling pistols or my sword? What the fuck's that supposed to mean? Charles, just Marissa, shut up. Me. Hey, don't say that to her. You're gonna find me or what, man? No. Stop! Stop! Did it ever occur to any of you for just a second that maybe I'm happy where I am? That maybe I've moved on from painting? People change. I'm not the same person I was five years ago. I find that hard to believe. Margaret. Well, you better start trying to. Because I haven't painted in four years, and I doubt that I ever will again. I'm sure Charles is real supportive of that. Stop trying to help, Thomas. You still don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't need help from anyone. So you know what? I made my decision a while ago. If you don't want to come to the wedding, fine. Merry Christmas. Charles, let's go. I'm really sorry about that. Did you know that was gonna happen? How could I? 
I can't believe you told him about the pills. I didn't, honestly. You know, I risked a lot to come out here. I don't have time for this shit. Where are you going, Charles? Don't follow me. Uh, hi, um, I have a set of plane tickets to Washington, D.C. that I have postponed a number of times, and I was wondering if I could change them for a flight out as soon as possible. Okay, Miss Ryder. Uh, looks like there's a 7 p.m. flight out of LAX this Tuesday that'll be covered by your points. Would you like me to go ahead and book that for you? Thanks. Me best, me best, me best music. I love you. Best music. All right, all right, all right. Let's get back to the tunes. Here's a flashback from two years ago. You do that something by the loving caliber. Um, hi. Uh, hey. Surprise. What are you doing here? Your Valentine's Day present ready? Oh, I thought you hated Valentine's Day. What? Me? <laughs> What's the box for? Oh, it's just for my painting supplies. I'm trying to save space. Oh, I will let you get back to your work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you said you brought some Christmas lights back with you? Oh, yeah, they're in my suitcase. Back. But I have class at like five tomorrow. We can make it to Laguna by then. I wonder if Scott will be there. Has he called you yet? No. Oh. You said that you'd be here five hours ago. There was traffic, Clarissa, jeez. At one in the morning? They were doing construction. What's this? Just figured I'd start working on something. But everyone will want to see it. I'm going home for Christmas. Clarissa, come on. I told you, if you go home, it's over. For good this time. You know, if you're gonna cheat on me, you could at least have the decency to hide it. Now how about I record the whole thing on camera and make a fucking movie about it? I'm going up to my room. When I come back down, I want you not to be here.
I meant what I said. Yeah, but we, we fight all the time, so I, I thought that sort of thinking about my life without you was... It was horrible. You're not gonna try and kill yourself again, are No, you? hey, no, 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 no. I don't, that, it was, it was done. Like, I... It's hard. Fuck, I, yeah. Uh, I... Love you. So much. You're the only girl I ever really wanted to be with. I, I don't know what I'd do if I lost her. Let's just start over. No lies, no cheating. It's just you and me. Please. Charles, it's Christmas Eve, and my mom wanted to have dinner an hour ago. Please don't do this to me now. Call me back when you get this. I know. Stop drawing on your hand, Clarissa. Isn't that your card for Charles? I really don't think he'll mind. I should have known you'd start acting like this now that he's not operating around you. No, Mom, I'm acting like this because he's off fucking another woman. Don't accuse him of something like that because of what you did. Oh, Mom, this isn't your job. Stop making stuff up and playing it off as the truth. Where are you going? for a drive. You can't just walk out on me. I'm talking to you. Watch me. Give me the keys. What? I paid for the car. It's my car. Give me the keys. You know what? Fine. I really don't care anymore. Where have you been all this time? I was in Delaware, Jesus. You have lipstick on your cheek. What? You have lipstick on your face. Yeah, you should feel guilty. Guilty? Like everything would have been fine if you hadn't screwed it up. Charles, I can't marry you. Fine, I don't want to marry you either. Why? Are you serious? You'd call this off. I just... Charles... I can't. Stop trying to scare me to whatever you're trying to do. We're gonna get married. We're getting married. Look, everything you put in the you owe it to me. Leave me alone. I'm talking to you. Did you not hear what I said? Listen to why I'm talking Don't to you. Don't follow me. How could you do this? Charles, come back. I love you. All these awards. What did you bring home this time? I'm for my art. My mom doesn't be happy. What did you do when you got a great opportunity? Right. I'm going home for the art. Ah. Clarissa, who's painting won that award? What third said. Paint? Best of my life. life. Idea. A painting, it's like this light goes off in my head. I see it, it's there. I can't believe you made that. What are you trying to say? You don't think it'll be any good? Okay, well, what if for Hanukkah I showed up with a cake in the shape of Jesus Christ on the cross? If you made a cake in the shape of Jesus Christ, that would be so awesome. Merry Christmas, Veronica. Yeah, Merry Christmas. I take it that's for us. Baked it special for the Ryder annual Christmas party. Well, thanks. But we're not having it this year. You're not? She is up in the attic, and I will go put this down somewhere, if you excuse me. There are donuts in the kitchen if anybody wants one. Clarissa? What happened with Charles? <laughs> yeah, you don't watch the news. The headlines read, 23-year-old asshole mauled to death by wild boars. I must have missed that one. 
thought you stopped painting. Amazing. You seem really... What the hell happened last night? Uh, so Charlie and I got in a fight. And then I realized, <sighs> he's just not worth it. So I stopped listening. And then I came inside. And there it was. What? This. This just peeped in my head. And so I ran upstairs and I started painting. What about Charles? Clarissa, you... Did you paint that? It's really good. Are you still with Charles? I don't want to talk to you. Oh, you've got to be joking. Oh, come on, Clarissa, I love you. Wait, look, if you don't come down here, I'll, I'll call off the wedding. Clarissa, I need to talk to you. Why? Clarissa, come on, I want to be with you. You didn't really want to be with me last night. What the fuck? Just fucking let me come in. Okay, Charles. You have to have it your way. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh god damn it! What? I was totally gonna use this paint. <laughs> Clarissa. Oh my god, I took your advice. The Royal Academy of Art in London? Uh, I sent them my portfolio last summer on a whim, and they accepted me. <sighs> Wait, as in you'd go now? <laughs> I've never even been out of the country. Might as well go to England for a year. Or five, or 10. You can't just go to Europe. I mean, what about- What about what? I mean, there's no reason for me not to. Can I call you back? I'm in the middle of something. She's what? Yeah, you gotta take care of this. Yeah, thanks. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Stay off? Yeah. First one in five years. Fed. <laughs> you know, I don't like it when you curse. Yeah, but it's just something I do. Well, at least you stop smoking. Yeah, see? I'm not all bad. I've only ever wanted you to be happy. I know we don't see eye to eye on most things. But try to understand, I thought that if you married Charles, he could take care of you when I couldn't. You could settle down to a fitting lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, but just because I haven't figured everything out now doesn't mean that I won't in the future. you already moved to California. Why is London gonna be any different? You're right. Maybe it's not, but it's like, remember five years ago when I had to do that self-portrait and you told me to do it up in the attic because I just moved up there? Yes. Well, I ended up painting myself in a field, in a city. Where is that? See, that's the thing. Anywhere that I can paint is the place that fits me best. Good thing I don't have to worry about my makeup. <laughs> Oh, 
Would you like me to fix dinner? Sure. Oh, just let me uh, go upstairs and finish some painting and then I'll come right down and I'll help you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry. I heard you were leaving. Are you sure? Wow, did you just do this? I really like the color definition here. It's très bien, oui. Wow, why did you ever stop? I really don't know. You know, there's a lot of great music schools in Europe. A lot of great guys came from there. Beethoven, Mozart. Beatles. <laughs> Definitely. Maybe I could come with you. I mean, it didn't work before, but now maybe it could. to go to England by myself. We always said that it didn't work because I left. Maybe it didn't work because it just didn't work. I mean, high school was great. California was great. But I'm not there anymore. I, I can't keep living there. Well, will you come back? Yeah. Probably, I don't know. <laughs> I'm really sorry that things got so complicated. I never meant for this to happen. You helped me to get where I am. And I'll always smile when I think of you. I will too. Next a month. Oh, and the loo connects to my room over there. <sighs> Sounds great. It's perfect. Did you paint that? It's brilliant. Thanks. Oh, I'm 
gonna go the thing that works. No, okay. <laughs> Go.